everyone, this is Arlene coming to you again with a video for My Favorite Things. I created this altered frame using uh, one of those dollar frames that you can pick up at Michael's and I'll go ahead and talk through it with you guys to let you know how I put it together. But uh, at the tail end of the video, I'm going to share a tutorial with you all on how I created these felt mini rolled roses and those are so much fun to work with so let me go ahead and talk through the frame this is what the frame looks like when you buy it at michael's and it's in the wood section where you can buy your dollar you know um, altered frames that you can pretty much do anything to i incorporated uh, a bunch of different uh, dynamics into this project actually three different ones and i'll talk through those in a second the paper collection that I used is the King Company's Madeline collection. What I did is I Mod Podge the Madeline paper down with um, Mod Podge, matte Mod Podge, and then I painted the edges, if you can see, and the inside there, uh, with paint that I thought coordinated well with the paper, and it's called uh, Bordeaux by Making Memories. And um, let me talk a little bit about down here. I have these two I Am Roses, roses and then I have two prima leaves and these are those white prima leaves that you can buy in those tall canisters and I just painted them with some Lindy Stamp Gang starburst stains and then I popped on a Kane Company uh, butterfly in there and here's one of the um, rolled roses so much fun to work with and um, I used the large rolled rose this is what the large rolled rose looks like and that's what I use to create this rose here and I have a tutorial on how to make um, one of the rolled roses and so I'm not going to do a tutorial on this one. I'm going to do one on this, the mini rolled roses and these are um, a new die available on my favorite things mftstamps.com and if you could see the size difference this is the original rolled rose and here are the mini rolled roses and what I love about these dynamics are they're attached and so you don't waste any paper or fabric when you run this through your um, die cutting machine really cool and you can die cut using Cuddlebug, um, Big Shot and I believe there's some other um, die cutting systems that will take and I'll these. show you exactly how I ran them through for the mini rolled roses so that you know what the sandwich looks like okay so the large rolled rose is what this one is right here so I love working with these and I did it in felt and this is the my favorite felt in the banana split and this is what it looks like. They're um, large sheets, and there's a total of five different colors in here. And you can see I've used some of them already, but I used the red to create my roses. And then down here is just some Prima Lace. This border right here is a new die from My Favorite Things, and this is called the Dainty Lace Border. Very pretty, very fun to work with. And what I did is I actually die cut a piece of thin chipboard. And, um, and it cuts perfectly. You just have to pop off a few of the, um, the dots that stick, but it just pops right off. Um, you don't have to like go in there with scissors or an exacto or anything, it just cuts perfectly. And then what I did um, is I painted it with the um, Making Memories paint so it coordinates with the frame. Um, I did the same thing up here to this new die, and this is the dainty or the lace doily die, and that's what this looks like. I love it. It's awesome. I love working with this. So I cut this out using thin chipboard again, and then I painted it with the same Making Memories paint to coordinate. And then I took a sheet of the coordinating uh, Madeline paper, and I just die cut it with um, one of my Spellbinder dies and I embossed a sentiment that comes in the stamp set that I'm using. And the stamp set that I'm using um, also is from my favorite things, and it's the Pure Innocence Ladybug um, stamp collection, and this is what it looks like. It's an awesome stamp set, you guys. Um, Pure Innocence is just so adorable, I love it. So um, that's what I did um, with the sentiment. Now going down to the little girl, she's so cute, I love her. So um, I colored her in with my Copic markers, and I actually used some really cool um, medium grade uh, vintage glass glitter that I picked up on Etsy, and this is what it looks like. Um, what I did is I first put some glossy accents down on the places I wanted to put the glitter on, and then I poured the glitter on and shook off the excess, and that's what I got. I love how it came out. And then over here, I just took some craft wire, and I alcohol inked it black, and then I put on the little black beads on the ends so it looks like her antennas. So really fun. And then on the fairy, um, on her wings, I just used my 
um, two-way glue and some Martha Stewart fine glitter um, to give it a little bit of, if you can see it, a little bit of shine. And I just left her shoes alone. I didn't want to make her look too glittery. So that is it. That is my picture frame. So much fun doing this and altering this. I love altering things and um, and I just really love the way that it came out. And so anyways, check out my favorite things at mftstamps.com. Now I'm going to go ahead and take you into a quick tutorial on using some of these um, Dynamics dies with your Big Shot. Now I'm taking my multi-purpose platform and I'm going to set that to tab 2, which is all tabs closed. That'll be my first layer. My second layer will be the first cutting pad. And then I'll take the Dynamics die and lay that on the cutting pad, cut side up, and then place the felt on top. Now I could use a shim for a cleaner cut, but I'm going to place the second cutting pad on top of this and I'm going to run it through and back again for a clean cut. Okay, so I die cut the mini rolled roses and I got two sizes. I got the medium size and I got the small size because again, the original one is the biggest one that we have. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to roll up the little tiny one because these ones are a little, I mean, they're so tiny, there's a lot, a little bit of fabric to work with. So you have to be very careful when you put this together. So I don't have a twilling tool. Um, if you do have a twilling tool, that would be good to use. Um, what I like to use is the tail end of a thin paintbrush and it works fine for me. So what I do is I take the end and I usually place it like right where the first scallop starts. So right here, I like to place it right there. And then I just curl this part in. Okay, so it's kind of um, parallel to the paintbrush if you guys can see that. And then I just start rolling. And you want to make sure to try to line up those um, pointy edges. Try to line those up with the pointy edges of the previous um, section. I don't know if that makes sense, but when you're rolling it, just make sure that it all sort of rolls in. And you're going to try to keep this, hold this as tight as you can, because you don't want this unraveling while you're going. And this base part right here is where you're going to adhere the flower together. You see, I just pulled the paintbrush off a little bit, and I'm going to use this as the base, okay? Because this is where we're going to adhere everything together. Now what I'm going to do is going to kind of pull the paintbrush out, like so. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go counterclockwise a little bit, and I'm going to loosen up the petals just a little bit. And this is what gives the rose, I mean, it sort of brings it to life, and it gives it some dimension. Okay, and you want to try to alternate the petals. Um, if you can see here, I'm sort of alternating the petals. Okay, so if you can see that, I got that all together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over so it's upside down. And I'm going to just kind of pull up on the base. Okay, this is the base, right? And I'm going to get my hot glue gun. And I am going to... Just go ahead and put a little dollop of hot glue right there. And then you just push that on. And it just holds it together. It's really not that difficult. Um, it's just, you know, it's such a tiny amount of fabric to work with. So that's where it becomes, it's sticking on my finger right now from the hot glue, but I could just pull that off later. But this is what it looks like. Super pretty. I hope it's focusing. Okay, maybe if I do this. There we go. Super pretty and really easy. Okay, so that's the mini rolled rose. And let me just show you, like in relation to the die, but <laughs> that's how big it is. It's really tiny. It's probably about, let's see it my mat here. It's just a little over half an inch in diameter.